good morning students today we i am going to discuss nature and features of communication actually uh, i have discussed few days before what is the meaning of communication communication is a way of expression of ideas emotions and feelings in oral written and printed form okay you, now you got the uh, definition of the communication this time i i am going to discuss about nature and features of communication <coughs> first i want to tell you the history of communication begins with the origin of human beings and other creatures uh, you know student when uh, men were living in the forest and caves they took some ways of communication by expressing their thoughts on wall and by making or painting pictures in various part of the caves uh like uh, uh, ajanta and elora caves uh in the very beginning human beings were directly associated with nature and natural object as a river mountain the sun the moon and the animals uh these natural objects not only imparted them various type of information but also attributed their senses with compassion and uh, beauty generosity isn't it na the thundering and the lightning compelled them to think about unseen power that is called hmm that is called omnipresent and omnipotent okay this is the attribute of communication that made human beings national creature of god by using this art they become superior to other creature of god they have the power to tell the history of their progress and to store their script political cultural sociological economical and religious knowledge for coming generations this art not only enriched their uh, knowledge but also made them strong from various point of view great uh, books of the world is the quran the bible the ramayana and the gita are the result of communicative arts by the means of communication the word became a global word concept of equality justice liberty fraternity and brotherhood were made strong time to time by the fruitful means of communication as far as matter is concerned to the means of communication it can be understood with the following heads now i am going to tell you uh, some heads uh, some headings like uh, first one is symbols second image third is rhythm fourth is dance fifth is music sixth is manuscript and the last one is printed matters as newspaper electronic media as a radio mobile computer and television also a uh, uh, head of this means of communication renaissance uh, such a period in european history uh, that made the means of communication very effective student cheap and simple also you know uh, william caxton who is william caxton anybody tell me okay i tell you william caxton invented printing press and when in 1473 which made possible the 
uh, availability books in huge quantity from agriculture to industry, from machine to science and technology, from ocean to the sky, means of communication had been used and enriched effectively with the help of printing press, with the help of books, with the help of printed text. Okay, various uh, means of communication is uh, main, uh, main uh, uh, means of communication, uh, you can tell the printing media, electronic media, hmm? printing media is anything either written or printed uh, is the part of print media. In the very beginning of the civilization, men and women express their thoughts by either engraving or painting the wall they communicated thoughts by making the pictures on the wall with which they were familiar or acquainted as far as the matter is concerned to communicate uh, uh, thought in written form the man and woman first used leave you know student they used leaf they were writing on the leaf it's a very shocking it is it's very surprising for you people the paper was invented in china which brought a rapid change in the field of communication Huh. In the uh, Renaissance period, William Caxton invented printing press, which made the possibilities of cheap books in huge quantity. The discovery of America by Columbus and India by India by you know Vasco da Gama brought the concept of global war. From agriculture to industry, new means of communication were invented. In the 18th century, newspaper, journals, magazines were published fabulously. In the age of science and technology, intercontinental means of communication are going to be adopted. Online availability of newspaper from any corner of the world reveals the close association of electronic symbols, images, figures of speech and aphoristic style have enriched print media. But any expression in simple language is greeted or welcomed all over the world. Next is electronic media. Another important source of communication is electronic media. It includes uh, radio, television, mobile phones and online information. This time I am also using mobile phone to record my audio lecture. Huh? So, through these sources, effective means of communication became possible. Computer, television and mobile phone communication things uh, in audio-visual uh, form which enrich our mind. In classroom projectors are uh, used to communicate thing. During this pandemic, uh, this is uh, we we communicate each other with the help of mobile, cell phone, laptop, you know? Dancing, sculpturing, and painting are other means of communication. Without spoken a single word, a lot of uh, said through the this means. The whole information of Indus Valley civilization is based on architect and sculpture. Okay, I am concluding this topic. 
this point can be assimilated that various means of communication are available in the age of science and technology. Communication and its various sources are an envelope of man's rationality and superiority of uh, superiority to other things. The art of communication made possible to know life after death. The concept of heaven, hell, God, nature and almighty got strong ground by the use of their means among mankind. So, so I want to bind up this lecture and uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about the general and technical communication. Differentiate uh, between general and technical communication. What is the meaning of general communication and technical communication or uh, what is the distinction between general and technical communication. So, this topic we will discuss on next time and uh, have a good day. Thank you so much.